Now remember the point of this new object, my class, is to add something in the master view controller that will replace just the NS date. This is a more complex object, it has both a date and a string in it. And ultimately I'm going to want to use it in the master view controller in the line of code where I insert new objects into the array of new objects. This is the line of code. It's insert object inside insert new object, which is the method. This is the array, the mutable array of objects. And in the existing code, I'm creating an NS date object and I'm going to insert it at index zero. Now, what I'm going to do here is something I commonly do. I'm going to select that line of code, copy it, and then paste it in. I'll comment this out. I can keep the old line of code next to it. There's lots of ways you can do this in production or in production type environments. You often are using source code control or version control like Git. But here I'm just leaving the one line of code next to it so that we can look at it. So this is the original line of code. And what I want to do is replace this line of code with a line of code that will create a my class object. So I want my class here. And I want to allocate it and initialize it. And you have to be a little bit careful with code completion here because especially with brackets, Xcode does have a tendency to put them in the wrong place. It's a little optimistic. So let's see what I want. I want this object initialized. So it goes in there. And this one goes in there. So the brackets are in the right place, but I have an error. And what is the error? Undeclared identifier my class. So what am I going to do in order to get the declaration of my class in here? There's a couple of things I can do. I can come up here to the top of this file and I can import it. Notice if you watch very carefully, I am actually typing a lowercase m. Fixit is trying to Completed and it comes up with myclass.h and also fixes it to a capital letter. This is what I want. I hit return and close the quotes. And if you notice the arrow went away, let's go down to insert new object. I've lost that error. So it's been cleaned up because I have inserted the import statement that brings in this header file. Now, Import is like include, but it's more powerful in the sense that you don't have to worry about cycles and re-including things. It imports the file if it hasn't been imported into the project before. If it has been, it doesn't worry about it. So you don't have to worry about duplication. So I've got it in there. Now, let's take it out again and look at the other ways in which I could do this. I could import it here. And I would import it here into the interface file if I needed to use it somewhere in here. So if I had, for example, an instance of my class within the master view controller, I would need to bring it in up here because if I didn't bring it in up here, I would have a compile error down here. I could still get away with not importing it into the .m file because if I'm only using it in the .m file, I don't need to bring it in to the interface file. But there's something else I can do here, and you can see it's actually done with the detail view controller. If I needed to create something that uses the my class, instead of importing the interface file, I can have a forward declaration, just as it happens here. And I can say, look, there's going to be something called my class. And it completes it for me. Notice that the fix it problem went away because it's been promised here. It's a forward declaration. I've got to then bring the .h file into the interface so that I can actually compile it, but I don't have to bring the .h file in. By not bringing the .h files into the interfaces unless necessary, the code becomes cleaner.